we're going to demonstrate a fragmentation attack, which is another form of active attack on WEP. First, we take a look at IW config that's showing both our wireless cards, WLAN 0 and WLAN 1. Both are managed. We can turn on monitor mode for both of them. So start WLAN 0. and WLAN 1. Now, yes, we have them both in monitor mode. Let's take a look at IF config. They are both up, ready to go. And let's see what we have around using arrow dump ng. Oops, let's say, yeah, let's do this. Okay, that's test one on channel 11, our familiar test one with this BSI ID, which we will need to copy and paste. So oh, it's jumping around. Let's stop this and Zoom in on channel 11. Uh, I think we need minus minus BSSID. Copy. Paste. And let's use double than zero mon for this. All right, so we're dumping the frames from just test one. The next thing we need to do is to do a fake authentication to the access point so we can communicate with it. And to do that, we also need to get the MAC address of double than one mon, which we will be using to uh, do the attack. So that's given there. And now we can do a, a fake authentication, which we will do here in another window. Uh, replay ng minus minus fake of one. So there's a one second delay for authentication. Minus o one, just one packet at a time. Minus e test one minus B, and we paste the BSS ID that we copied earlier, minus H, and here's where now we will put double than one mon's MAC address, paste double than one mon, and we're doing our fake authentication. Oops, it's, uh, somehow it's, it's trying on channel five. Okay, let's stop this and start it on channel 11. Start WLAN 1, 11. IW config shows that yes, it is on channel 11, just like WLAN 0 mon. And now we can try this again. Authentication successful, association successful. We're going to keep this process just here in case we get disassociated then it, we will get re-associated as this process uh, replaced authentication requests and association requests. All right, so now that we have set, set that up, we can begin our fragmentation attack and we'll do that down here. So every play ng minus minus fragment for fragmentation attack minus e test one minus b this stuff here. Copy and paste. Yeah, we can start this again. And I'm come back here, ready to begin our fragmentation attack. So it's bootstrapping. There was no traffic on the LAN, so I had to fake it by, well, I mean, not to say fake it, but I mean, I used a client to try to authenticate and associate. And so anyway, now he has found a packet that you can use. So I say yes. 
All right, so it has got a relay packet, and now we can build a packet using Packet Forge NG, which is another member of the Aircrack NG suite. Notice that it has saved the chosen packet in replay src so on dot cap, and it saved the key stream that it found. This is a, a portion of the key stream. It doesn't have the key yet, but at least it has a key stream that can be used to generate packets that will be valid. Anyway, in this fragment dot xor good. Then you can X orders with plain text to get cipher text. Now we can make an ARP request using packet forge ng. Packet forge ng minus minus ARP. So we want to generate uh, an ARP packet minus A. And then here's where again we need the MAC address, the, the BSS ID, and also the MAC address of our device, but we have a couple more parameters. So we have this minus K and minus L. So minus K will be the destination IP address and minus L will be the source IP address. We can pick some IP addresses for these. Minus L. And then minus why here's where we're going to be using the key stream that we captured fragment 0713 0739333.xor and I write it to I'm going to write this to forged arp.cap all right now we can inject this forged arp request finally Re uh, replay ng Something like this. Forged minus H eighty four sixteen F nine eighteen A O F O double and one mon. That's it. Now take a look at the number of data packets. It was two hundred and ten, which is not really great as far as running aircrack ng is concerned. But we can already do that. Aircrack ng test one dash zero one cap. So it's not going to be enough yet. There's only 210 IVs, and we are hoping that with this forged ARP request that we'll keep replaying, it's going to be able to get more uh, new different IVs. So let's see. Oh yes, great. The number of data frames is going up. It's working. And meanwhile here, is, it's sending out these packets. And now it's go gotten over 5,000. So Aircrack NG is continuing to do its thing. Beautiful, isn't it? We wait for it. Uh, it, it probably might take something like 20,000. So it's already got 10,000 uh, unique IVs. 15,000. Should be getting close. Yes. Done. Less than 20,000 packets. Uh, 15,412. All right, great.